Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on the random loot server. It's not really a server, but it's on my local machine. I call everything a server because really technically it is. Anyway, we are back here. If you recall, um, I'm having difficulty just getting started because of the fact that all these drops are random. Um, it's Well, I should say the drops are randomized, but the same thing will drop the same thing every time. So I've been thinking about this last few days and I I think what the best course of action for us is, first of all, to find some wood. We have a bunch of these dark oak planks. That's what I was looking for. And I think we should put them into chests and then use the chests and make what I'm going to call a visual record. Um, I'm going to make another building over here somewhere. But uh, let's try to work on something. I don't know. Let's just build something out here. My idea is that, um, wow, look at all that. There's some space. Is we're going to have chests here, and I'm going to make them double chests. And so because this is 114, we can put double chests together like that. And we might stack them up here. Kind of look like a storage system, but this is going to be a different purpose, okay? So as an example here, we have some of these wood planks right here, okay? Now, how did we get those? We got those from oak. Let's go get some oak first. I'm going to go get some oak and show you what I mean by a visual record, okay? Because when we usually... What is that? Oh, that's one of those blocks that I had. Okay, we're going to grab this, and this usually gives us a bunch of stuff here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Almost done. Got a lot of stuff here. Now, I have been using the oak planks, right, or the uh, dark oak logs. So if I put those up here, you can see we get that. That's normal stuff, okay? So now we're going to try to figure out what does this give us, okay? So here's this, my visual record. If I hit this and I break it, what does it make? Okay, well, let's figure this out. Okay, and we're going to make a couple of these because we want the visual record to go out for a while. So let's do like that many. Here we go. So I hit it. And what happens? It makes the uh, prismarine stairs. So now when I look at this, I have this dark oak planks. If I break it, it becomes prismarine stairs. Now let's take a bunch of these. I know that there's a bunch of these in a row. I don't know why there's a pot there. But uh, anyway, if we take these now, we know what they are so far. Let's put these down here. And let's break one. What do we get? We get red dye. Where'd it go? Oh, we got a poppy. Okay. Oh, the wrong chest. There we go. So that makes a poppy. So if we do this here, we're going to get poppies. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Now, poppies. What do you get when you break it? Rotten flesh. Now, I'm not sure how you would break rotten flesh. Okay, so I think that that's the end of a chain. So I'm going to stop there, and we'll start another row. Let's see what happens when we break uh, stone. Stone's a great one. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so here we go with stone. We get a stone. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the stone. Oh, darn it. Um, I'm going to put stone there, right here. That's where stone should be. Um, I'm not sure why. How did we get stone? Probably from the oak. Anyway, uh, let's get these done here. This is the mossy fence, okay? And let's break a mossy fence, and what do we get? Nothing. Now, how do I put, like, nothing? I should probably put, like, a blank here, like a blank spot. So this is normal stuff. I know there's also ways of getting it when you silk touch and other things, but this is what I'm just doing with the regular method. Let's see if we can get some more, like, oak. I don't see any saplings. That's not good. Uh, is there any other oak trees? There's one over there. Let's go cut this down. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's go get some more materials. So the idea here is that we will eventually create this uh, index of what makes what. And then with some research into there, we can figure out what we need to get where we want to go. Okay. So a lot of stuff is dropping here. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. I don't need so many crossbows, I don't think. But the books could be useful. Efficiency 3 and impaling. That's not bad. What is this stuff? Oh, leaf blocks are making that. That's kind of cool. We can gather that up as well. Uh, we have a, don't have a need for pots. We get pots all the time. So basically, leaves are getting us dead horned coral, which is kind of cool in a way. Okay, put this all back here. We ran out of the... Rotten flesh for this course of action. What happens with dark oak logs? We got plenty of those. Let's just see what this does. 
Okay, so dark oak log. Let's see, a dark oak log. There we have it there. And let's break it. Uh, it makes it pot and white flowers. It make white flower every time. Yes. So that doesn't do us much good either. But I can put in here um, the pot. There we go. Okay. So that that tells us that thing. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do here is to try to make up some sort of index of what things are. Um, let's see. Well, we got dead coral. We know how to get that by cutting down some trees, right? Okay, so let's try that. Nothing. Okay. So I can just put in here, basically, this is the end. We'll put a blank. Dead hood corn coral is nothing. There's another blank. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, stone brick. That's a good one, right? Okay, so let's see what stone brick does. Stone brick. And I shouldn't have done that again. Gave us a furnace. Oh, Okay, okay, that's good. We just got a furnace. We've needed that. I didn't know how to make that. Excellent. We just got a furnace, guys. That's that's pretty big. So, again, gives us wool and a furnace. Now, see, that's also something that I don't hadn't thought about with my visual record, is that um, this item, it can make either this or a furnace. Oh, we're picking up flowers here. I'm going to make a junk drawer up here for stuff. Um... So it could make both these. I'm going to put these down. So basically stone brick is both of those. Awesome. Okay. That's kind of cool. Now I'm going to take out two of these and see what this gets us if we break it. Okay. And I need to really get a lot more space here. Okay. So if we break the orange wool... We got another furnace and blue wool. Oh man, so maybe this system won't work because really this is like combination of things. You know what I mean? It's like, um, oh here, if I do this and see this piece here with stone brick, which I got to put in there, makes these two and this makes those two. Interesting. So we'll do the same thing here. Now if I break the wool here, does that give me another color wool or is it... Stone brick. Interesting. We got a cycle here. Do you see that? So basically, these go to here. This can make this. This makes stone brick. We got a loop here, and this is how we can get furnaces. Fantastic. Now that I have some dark oak logs and a furnace, this makes something kind of nice. We can actually start to make some torches here. Let's make some charcoal first. This should be a standard recipe. I don't, <laughs> at least I hope not. Hope it's not something different. But it should give us charcoal, in which case now we can make torches. And that's one of the things we definitely need. There we go. It's charcoal. And then, of course, when we have sticks, we can craft. Anything we craft, it looks like it's the same recipe. And there we can have some torches. Finally, we have a light source, which means we can go mining and figure things out if we need to to get other resources. We can also use that when we go exploring. The thing I'm really looking for now is two things. we got to find obsidian so that we can make an obsidian portal and a way to light it, of course. That'd be flint and steel, which we don't have yet. I don't think we have any flint or iron. We got to figure those two things out. And then we have to go and try to find a, a um, what you call it, a stronghold so that we can find the end portal and get to the end. Because that's the goal here is to try to get to the end. So we're doing okay so far, I think. Um, I got to get back on track on figuring out where things are, what you get from what. Um, but this will work out really well. I'm going to go out and I'm going to go and see if I can get some more resources like um, uh, from the oak trees and things because we need more of the wood. That thing's our standard resource. I gathered up some of the wood. It gave me some wheat. I thought, wait a minute, hay bales. What does hay bales make? So let's do that. We got a hay bale. Whoa. Wither skeleton skulls. Is that every time? That's so weird. Okay. Um, just, you know, hey, I just grew some wheat. Let me go get a skull. Um, yep, it's every time. Now, what happens, though, if that's down there and I break it? Okay. So, this is another case for the visual record. 
So let me go and do that now. Let's put a hay on down there. Let's get some hay. Okay. And in our visual record, we can do this right here. Um, I'm going to do it in this chest here. Hay makes wither skulls, which makes end stairs. Let's make a few more so we can see what happens from the stairs. We got to get this, this kind of thought out. And so maybe this is helping you um, see how I try to figure this out. Okay, so we know what all of these do. Skulls. There we are. Now let's put those down. Let's break each of these so we get our stairs. Endstone stairs. Okay. Now, here we go. What does it make? It makes jungle fence gate. Okay. So we'll put one of those in here. That's the next in this line. And... There's two more. Let's put those down. What does that give us? Let's see. A jungle sapling and some pottery. Okay. So there we go. And the jungle sapling can grow jungle trees, which is good. So we have a way of getting wood. I'm going to have to plant that here in a second. So let's go plant this someplace over here. Okay, and hopefully that'll produce jungle wood, and then we can see what that does. So that's the end of that line. Okay, we got to keep going here. We have some iron. Um, we should make some more tools and stuff. I don't know how else to do with the crossbows. I'm just, I just need like a junk chest or something because I don't need the crossbows. It'd be nice to use some of them, but um, I don't need them for like the build up like that. And our farm is doing okay, which I forgot about. <laughs> Let me throw this away here. We got so many crossbows, it's crazy. Okay, so let's see. We're going to break. This is carrot. Nothing. Okay, potatoes. Really? I thought they are. Are they fully grown? Maybe they're not fully grown yet, but I, I'll wait. I'll wait just to double check, but that's kind of weird because usually you get the item back. Okay, let's plant some more. Okay. Okay, back to what I'm doing here. Like I said, I'm going to do more of the visual record, try to figure out what's going on. Um, I think the dark oak logs here, they just give us, Ooh. like, the flowers. Let's go get one of these right here and just see. I think that's what we said before. Yeah, we did. We did. Because I have it in my record. I remember to use the record. Basically, it just gives us a pot. Okay, I'm going to go exploring, see if I can find some more resources. Birch. Gives me books. Um, that's kind of cool. We can make bookcases so we can get an enchanting table pretty easily from all these books. I'm glad I figured that one out. So that helps us a little bit because for enchanting purposes. And we get those bottles of enchanting, which also gives us a lot of experience. So we should be able to make bookcases in an enchanting area rather quickly if we can get the uh, some obsidian. So I'm going to get us more of this and continue on looking around, see if I can find anything of use that we haven't seen before. Spruce leaves decaying gives redstone lamps. <laughs> That's great. But when you break a redstone lamp, you get emeralds. Out of curiosity, what does an emerald block give you when you break it? Uh, that's a good question. Can I even get an emerald block with this? Uh, yeah, we get potatoes and a compass. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's that works out well for us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Jungle wood gives a note block. What does that get us? Nothing. Darn it. I thought hopefully that we'd get something from it. Um, but maybe the leaves can do something here. Let's go check. Basically, this has turned into scaffolding. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now, these leaves will despawn here in just a second. And with that, they may be something. It may be obsidian. That Golly, how many are in this tree? There we go. So maybe it'll make something really useful. I don't know. There might be banners for all I know. We'll just have to wait and see what goes on here. It's coming down. You can see it's decaying. Uh, we know it's kind of rare when things happen, but we'll see what happens here. Not sure. Okay. Um, you know what I could do real quick? Let's see if I can do this. I do have some iron. I can make a shear. So let's make up that and see what we get from this. Um, more scaffolding. Oh, 
Doesn't look like anything from that. Oh, well. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Wandering tree. Uh-huh. Yeah. You get some good bubble coral block for three. And guess what? We can make uh -huh. emeralds really easy. We know how to do that. Where are all my... Uh... There we go. We're going to get some emeralds to trade with this guy. So let's do this pretty quick here. Because maybe with this we can get something useful while he's here. Okay, let me see. Okay, dude. Um, um, I have don't have podsel. I'll try that. And I don't know about red sand. Let me try that. And we these I don't know about pink tool. Let's get this coral here and let's see what I did that. Wait a second. What am I missing? I didn't. Uh, I goofed up. It's okay. We got more. Here we go. Get some more emeralds. Hey, come back. I didn't mean to hit your guy. Sorry. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's see what this does here. Podzel. Cobblestone from Podzel. Okay. That makes sense. But not really. Uh, let's see. We got this bubble coral block. That sounds so cool. Okay, and that one died but gave us a saddle because it was out in the, not in water. And this gives us a chiseled quartz, and this gives us nothing. Okay, and the sand. Here we go. Ooh, that's a nice looking block, isn't it? Okay, nether warp block. Gives us black carpet. Okay. This works out. Now, I'm not putting in my visual record at the moment. Um, I don't know if that visual record is going to work now that I think about it, but because it's of the fact that some of them are turning into doubles. Okay, that's cool. So far, this is going to some place. We can get some things here. Okay. Out of my way. Why would this be... I got an axe. Why would this take so long with an axe? What is this? Petrified oak. Petrified? How do you get a petrified oak slab? How's that even made? Has anybody even heard of a petrified oak slab? What is that? I have no idea. That's so weird. Okay, I think Mumbo. Mumbo would like this. Okay, here we go. So you, basically, you shear dark oak. You get these uh, end stone, right? End stone bricks. <laughs> Follow me here. You'll see why Mumbo would like this. Okay, so we got all this. And look, it makes jungle trapdoors. Isn't that great? And that's kind of cool and all. But then uh, if you take these trapdoors like this, okay, and you break them, look what you get. White concrete. And you know, everything that Mumbo does is built in white concrete. So uh, <laughs> he would be happy. This is real easy. Not real easy. You got to do a lot of stuff to get to here, but at least I know how to make white concrete. Now, I have not seen what white concrete makes, so let's put some of this down here. And it gives us some things. These things here, which are the chiseled sandstone. I'm just looking to see if I can get, like, obsidian or something. Because if we can get obsidian, then we can do the portal, and that's something that's kind of good that we want to do. Okay, we got those. That's easy to do. It's just a matter of me going through and just looking for stuff. More wool. Or no, this is a um, powder, right? Yeah. The scallion powder. And that's how we get red banners. Which... Let's see what these guys do here. Dirt! And that is how we get dirt. Okay, we can do this. So far, everything's coming from... From uh, the leaves there. That's good because that's a very easy resource. And, oh, we got some armor. That's good. We also got gold. Uh, we got some oak saplings. That's good. Oh, look at that. Armor. <laughs> I'm suiting up here. Oh, and it gave us diamonds and horse armor. Uh, This may be, this may be our, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is good. So we have basically a way to make everything we need. And now that we have diamonds, we can do some other stuff and getting some better armor. 
mm-hmm. um, some better tools and better things. We can have a way to make an enchanting station. We need to find out how to make obsidian. Um, but that's great. We can get lots of these resources just from these um, dark oak. Bye bye. Oh, it's nighttime. As soon as you hear that noise, it means it's nighttime because he's putting on his, his potion. So, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff here, guys. This has been a pretty good episode. We still have to find obsidian. He's back. Now, do you have new trades? Just real quick, I want to see if you have new trades. Come back. Come back. Huh. No. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. I hope you like this video. Look at me. I got some armor. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.